Hi, in this short tutorial, I will quickly explain you how to install SoapNX and how to use the product. I have already downloaded the zip file into my desktop. Here it is. Uh, to install this application, we need just two softwares. One is our database, which is MongoDB. Uh, we can uh, quickly go to mongo mongodb.org and download it uh, with this download option. And also, we need to browse to this nodejs.org and we can download for Windows. Actually, I'm in a Windows machine, so uh, I'm download downloading this for Windows. The next process is to unzip this zip file. I will extract it to my desktop. This will take a while. In the meantime, let me open up the command prompt. In Windows, it is command prompt or if you are in a Linux machine, you can go to your terminal. In our command prompt, uh, we will type in cd and let's drag in this folder to command prompt so that it will uh, print out the path press enter this enters into the sopnx application folder let us open this okay now the only command you need to run is npm install but before that we need to start our mongodb database which i have already installed in c drive program files mongodb 2.6 standard then bin and we need to start this mongod.exe okay this starts up quickly okay it has started the next step was to write this command that was npm sorry node space dot this will quickly start up our application okay now it says express server listening on 8080 port so next let's go to localhost colon 8080 and here is our app. This installation process automatically loads some product, some sample product, some categories, some brand names. Okay. I'll now I'll tell you some basic features which we need in a shopping cart web application uh, which is already there integrated first thing we have a list of products as there is only one product we are seeing only one product otherwise uh, we will list around three products in a row we have an option to sort according to price or name also we have some filters like price filters with slider and brands filter where we can select multiple brands as we wish here are the list of brands which on clicking will remove it these are the options to remove those brands here is our navigation bar for our shopping cart we have some sample data in this navigation bar like men we have casual trousers and women we have 
dresses also we have whenever we click this category look at this this address over here changes and points to that category and here we will see only those products belongs to the category like when I click men casual trousers I'll get this product because I have only one product also we have a search feature here we can search for any product and this will drag in those products directly on click this will go to the product detail page and this product detail page is also available when we click on any product this will go to the same product details page this product details page has got add to cat option some uh, variants of that product like size we have four, uh, five sizes including this so we are showing up four size on clicking the size this will update the details while scrolling down we will find some more details like the detail information about the product or brand which it belongs category under which this product comes next thing I'll, I wish to show you is our shopping cart let's add this product to our shopping cart yeah now we have added this product to shopping cart here we have a plus button which increases the item number of items in the shopping cart or we can decrease the items as soon as I click this pro this button this add the product into the cart on clicking see now the product is present in our cart we can proceed to checkout but before checking out this is going to ask us about login so let us try with some sample login and password okay we have logged in here it says hello test user I will key in phone number and my name okay my address and my city okay next we will proceed to payment the payment facility with this shopping cart application currently supports PayPal so this payment page will carry all those product information as well as price information into PayPal so that people will uh, be able to really pay for this product and get the delivery okay next thing I wish to show you is this dashboard this dashboard contains some advanced features for the logged in users like how many orders he has placed when he has placed his order history he can change his password or he can log out because this is a test user we don't have much option let us log in with this admin user in admin user we have options like adding products categories brands and changing order status adding shop settings managing customers so uh, first let us start with creating a brand creating a brand is very simple I can add any brand like uh, brand name is Viri some information about the brand or brand name is next save this as soon as I save this this comes into this brand list of brands the same way we can edit this brand if I wish to make it this Viri 2 or Viri 2 this directly reflects 
next option we will explore is categories this is a bit tricky i will add a new category into this let us say the category will be search will specify a category id to this i will add this id as 300 let us say parent category will be 1 and save i'll tell you about this parent category this parent category i have specified as 1 search for parent category is 1 and the this category this uh, number refers to the category number of any other existing category so this search will come under women let us uh, refresh the page and we will see the search will come under this women category okay search has come under women category next thing we will add some products adding product is simple we will click on add new this will ask you some sku you key in any uh, number random number and give this product a name fashion shirt slug slug will be generated automatically yeah no need status status will also be automatically generated some information about this product and the product image and save it now here is our product the next step will be to add the category associate the category product i will associate search category to this product and associate a brand like bri2 as we have defined we can add size to this search will fix some mrp and some selling price save it now the product has been saved let us see what all details we have added yes you have add we have added size 32 price was mrp was 100 rupees but discounted price is 90 rupees some details about the product the brand it belongs to and the category next option we we'll look into is shop setting this is very important because this contains this paypal email id where this is shop's email id shop's paypal email id to which people will make payment we can change this let us change this to code in next@gmail.com and save payment method now onwards whenever someone shop the payment will go to code in next@gmail.com of paypal another option i have key in is customers settings here the store administrator will be able to add new customers he can edit test he can edit and customer his email name 